Do you know, folks, there, there's, a, there's a beautiful picture here. When you call on the name of the Lord, you receive God's ultimate provision. When he reaches for his wallet or his pocketbook, he doesn't pull out a hundred dollars, pulls out life. He pulls out meeting every need that you and I could possibly ever have. <laughs> Just gives it to us. When you call on the name of the Lord, you receive God's ultimate healing. Are you ready for this? Jehovah Rapha, R-A-P-H-A. You receive God's ultimate healing. That's what the Bible tells us about the name of God that he is the one who heals sickness, sin, pain, spiritual healing, physical healing, emotional healing. Listen to what Psalm 103 has to say, verses 2 and 3. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He, the one whose name you and I call upon, he who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Anyone today listening, you need healing? You need healing? Folks, the Bible doesn't teach faith healing. There's no such thing in the Bible as faith healing. Faith healing is humanistic. Faith healing says that God heals me because of the quality of my faith. Now I'm in trouble. If you've just got enough faith, God is going to heal you. The Bible teaches divine healing. God heals because God is God, which means He can choose to heal or not. That's His business. But He says, ask anything in my name. And if you need healing today, you need to cry out to Jehovah Rapha. You need to ask in His name, Jehovah Rapha, I need to be healed. I beg of you today. That's what happens when you know this Jesus of whom we speak. When you call upon the name of the Lord, best friend you'll ever have. Number five, you will receive God's ultimate peace. Jehovah Shalom, S-H-A-L-O-M. When I go to Israel again at the end of this year, the end of November, that's what you say when you meet people in Israel. You say Shalom. It's a most wonderful greeting. But that greeting comes from the very name of God. He's the author of peace. He's the one who designed peace. He's the one who gives peace. It is His plan for the peace of the world that counts nothing else. And in America today, we've cultivated a culture that believes that you can go in a thousand different directions to bring upon the peace upon this land and in this world. And God says, call upon my name because I alone am Jehovah Shalom. I will give you peace. Are you disturbed? You're looking for meaning in life? I point you to Jesus, my friend. I invite you to give your heart to Jesus. No wonder Gideon called the altar that he erected right there at the time of Oprah when he memorialized God's message to peace in Judges chapter 6 and verse 23. Because he understood that the peace of God passes all understanding. That's why Paul said, be anxious for nothing. What he wasn't saying was that you and I have any capability. What he was doing was he was pointing us into the heart of Jesus Christ 
And he was saying, may I present to you the king of all peace. How to have peace with God in Christ. You can invite him in your heart today. And you can have his peace. You can be forgiven of your sin. You can be radically transformed. And as you begin to journey through this life, which is so difficult, so many things cause us to be robbed of our peace. Call on the name of the Lord. And you will receive God's ultimate authority and God's ultimate sufficiency and God's ultimate provision and God's ultimate healing and God's ultimate peace but you'll also receive God's ultimate guidance. I present to you the God of the Bible, Jehovah Rohi, R-O-H-I. Bible speaks about the God of provision, the God of guidance. Why? Because Jehovah Rohi, He protects us. Jehovah Rohi provides for us. Jehovah Rohi corrects us. Jehovah Rohi leads us. Jehovah Rohi cares for us. That's why Psalm 23 was written about Jehovah Rohi. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Makes me to lie down by green pastures. He restores my soul. He lifts me up. He energizes me. He gives me hope for tomorrow. You know what I've discovered in my life? <laughs> I've discovered that I've spent so much time calling on everybody's name and everything's name excepting God. God has spoken to you today, hasn't he? 